Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back with another YouTube video. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing Suicide Squad Review. So, yeah, let's get into this, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I've been watching the DCU recently. And and I wa I've actually watched all, all the DCU movies by now. But yeah, now I'm going to start reviewing them. I've already done Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman. And I will not be reviewing Shazam and Zack Snyder's Justice League because I've already reviewed them, so there's no point in doing it again. So, yeah, currently we're doing Suicide Squad. Uh, then I have to do Wonder Woman. There's a few others. Birds of Prey. A bunch of different ones. Uh, but, yeah, in this video today we're doing Suicide Squad, not The Suicide Squad. Those are two different types of movies, two different ones. Uh, the Suicide Squad is going to be released in August or something like that. And this one is from 2016. Uh, so yeah, let's get into my initial reactions. In all honesty, in my opinion, this movie's way overhated. Way too overhated. I, I kind of dislike how much hate it gets, but yeah. But well, let me go and explain why there's reasons I like it, there, and obviously it has its pl its flaws and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into this. Um, let's let's just start with the positives, I guess. Uh, something that was really interesting to me is definitely music choice. Music choice was really good. I really enjoyed music. Like it had some music from like Rick Ross, uh, Heathen. No wait, that's a song name. Uh, I forget who, the, uh, 21 Pilots. So yeah, it had some pretty good, pretty good music. And I really enjoyed this, the music from this album. So that was enjoyable. That's another positive. It really fit the scenes and stuff. Even the theme, it really fit well into the thing. That's, that's what I really like as well as this movie, from this movie. Uh, another thing would probably be the acting. Now I'm talking about. Actually, acting was actually pretty good from all around. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Pretty good. I mean, Jay Hernandez as Diablo was... He did good at sometimes. He was doing bad at sometimes. But, like, Will Smith did a really good job. Like, I think Will Smith gets overhated in this movie as Deadshot. I thought he was, like, really good with as Deadshot. I thought he was really well done. Same with Margot Robbie. Uh... The guy who plays Killer Croc did a well done job. Same with Captain Boomerang. Uh, Colonel Rick Flag. Uh, he's some Tomish. But most part he's good. Like the this was really well done acting wise. I mean Enchantress wasn't a huge fan. I'm going to be straight up. I, I wasn't a huge fan of uh, Cara Delevingne's acting. I'm still not a huge fan of her. In all honesty. But yeah. Um. So yeah, the acting was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I thought Will Smith and Margot Robbie in particular does really did a really good job. Like I think Margot Robbie did was really well, even in like Birds of Prey and stuff. But this is a Suicide Squad review. But she's just a really talented actor. Same with Will Smith. Uh, it was interesting as well to see Will Smith kind of acting like more of a dark, gritty kind of role with a little bit of heart in him. Because that's really what Deadshot is. He's not like a super huge villain. Like he'll help or whatever. But sometimes he's controlled and whatever. So yeah that's another thing. Uh, next thing would be the fight scenes. Oh damn the fight scenes were really good. I really enjoyed watching the uh, whole fight scenes. Those were That was really well done. Deadshot fighting sick. I think Killer Croc as well. Captain Boomerang. All great fight scenes. Really well done. Really enjoyable. Uh, the next thing would probably be character choosing. Uh, at least to me. Like I I like the, the characters that they chose. I like that they chose Deadshot, Killer Croc, uh, Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, and Diablo. I know some of you might be like, oh, those aren't prime members in the comics. I mean, Deadshot is, but Killer Croc kind of isn't. So that that's another thing as well. Well, he is. He is, actually. But, like, they lowered down the role as well to them. 
like before it used to be like 10 members and we see some guys getting their heads blown off we saw one guy get his head blown off that was it so i i kind of dislike that as well to be honest with you guys uh that's another thing but like the characters like that shot was done really well in my opinion harley Quinn, quinn done is done really well uh killer croc he was all right captain boomerang he, he was actually done pretty well as well. Diablo, uh, he was, I'm kind of in the middle on him. Rick Flagg was done pretty good. Amanda Waller, same with Amanda Waller, done really well. Uh, yeah, let's get into the negatives now. The first negative is probably going to be the villain. Uh, the villain was just terrible. Like They made it seem very much like it was going to be some kind of big bad villain. Uh, well, it was, but it just didn't make sense. I didn't really like the Enchantress as the villain. I thought it was really stupid. Uh, just the whole concept of her is pretty stupid to me. Uh, and the whole plot-wise, it's it was fairly stupid. I really, I that's why a lot of the times Suicide Squad's very overhated. It's for the the villain. It's just, and yeah, the, again, the villain is bad, but I don't think it affects the movie too. It does, but, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's another thing as well. Uh, the next thing would probably be the Joker wasn't too good. But, like, it doesn't affect the movie too much. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of Jared Leto at first, but he's starting to grow on me a little bit. <clears throat> I mean, I it was different, and this in this case, people didn't take good to... Um, a different type of Joker, so that ended up happening, and that's why Jared Leto's kind of hated it a lot as well. Um, the next thing would probably be the writing. Writing was poor, really bad. Uh, just some of the dialogue was just f stupid. Same with like the whole fact of the Enchantress as a villain. I thought that was really stupid. I thought Enchantress should be just a villain, and I don't know what the use of her brother was, or... What she was trying to do as well. Like what were those zombie things? That was the stupidest thing i ever, ever seen. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really like that as well. The next thing is probably going to be pacing issues. Uh, it had a lot of pacing issues. Like at the start, it proceeded at a pretty good pace. It felt, it felt a little bit rushed. But towards the end, it seemed like they f like fall, fell out of script or something. And it just, it was very slow towards the end. So that's something else I disliked heavily about this as well. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't like how that all was happening and stuff. But in all honesty, it was it was an enjoyable movie to watch. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I enjoyed, it was enjoyable. But the thing is, they did some characters dirty in this. Like Diablo, for example. They did him dirty. He, I don't think he should have died. I don't, yeah, I don't think he should have died. I wish maybe we got a few more characters for the Suicide Squads. Even even like some nobodies. Just so we can get the key aspect of head blowing off. Cause that's another uh, kind of key aspect. Especially with the Suicide Squad. Is you never know unpredictability and stuff like that. So that's another thing. But I understand kind of because they wanted to aim it for PG-13. And you can't obviously have a whole bunch of heads getting blown off all the time. With PG-13, you'll need a rated R, but that's why I'm pretty excited for the Suicide Squad. So, yeah. But, like, most of these characters, again, they're pretty enjoyable to watch on screen, like Deadshot was. I like Killer Crocs as a character. Captain Broomerang as well. Uh, Harley Quinn is pretty enjoyable. Uh, Diablo is pretty enjoyable. Uh, Rick Flag was enjoyable as well. But, yeah, um... My overall rating, it's going to be 7 out of 10 from just a cinematic perspective slash, uh, I added a bit of enjoyment. If I exited out my enjoyment, I would probably give it a 6 maybe, but I'll stick to a 7. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.